Hey, I'm Bobby LaRue. Welcome to Diving. What I want to talk to you about now is how the fulcrum and where you set the fulcrum is actually going to affect you. For some of you, most people think when they first get on the board, it's best to have it all the way back and jump as high as they can and as crazy as they can and as far as they can. Well, it's not the best thing, actually. What you'll want to do is you'll want to get onto the board. <clears throat> If I've got the fulcrum all the way back, how it's going to affect me is this. I need to be a very patient person and be able to spend a longer time on the end of the board waiting for it to bend down and come back up. I'll be able to get a little more height, but I have to be more patient. If you're not patient and you just want to get off the end of that board and do your dive, you'll want to move the fulcrum all the way up. What will happen is the ride time in the board will be a lot shorter which means the board's not going to bend as much, which means it's actually going to go down and come back up quicker. So for those of you who are impatient, you'll want to have the bride time be really short. You'll want to move the fulcrum up. As you get more experienced, as you get better in diving, you'll want to move the fulcrum back so you can be more patient and get more out of the board. That's just a couple of ways that the fulcrum and where it's placed will affect you in diving.